And while we discuss the post-American era, we must also look at how India's ties with America will shape up or are shaping up. How much of a shift are we seeing in the Biden presidency from the Trump administration? Is there a shift at all? And what do American policies and statements mean for New Delhi? Let me begin by addressing the elephant in the room, India's internal affairs. Ever since Joe Biden came to power, it has become fashionable for some to claim that the Indian government will face some pushback on its internal matters. But is America really in a position to do so? The simple answer is no, it isn't. Joe Biden is a seasoned politician. He knows better than offending India. The Indian diaspora in the U.S. has become quite affluent and influential. Indian Americans funded Biden's campaign, and now at least 20 Indian Americans are part of the White House team. Also, the geopolitical realities have changed since the Obama era. Today, India is a leading global force. It enjoys a strong bipartisan support across the world. India sits at the high table of the United Nations Security Council. In fact, just three days back, New Delhi played a key role in shaping the UNSC statement on Myanmar, on the coup. To add to that, India's vaccine diplomacy spreads as far as Latin America. New Delhi is nursing countries like Brazil and Mexico. There's a congruence of interests on the diplomatic front. India and the U.S. are on the same page when it comes to Taiwan and China. India is America's strategic counter to Chinese aggression. The Quad countries, as we told you, are already arranging a meeting of their leaders with an eye on China. India is the only Quad member that shares a land border with China and operates outside of U.S. security-led alliances. So let me say this. America would think twice before interfering in India's internal affairs, just as India has steered clear of interfering in America's. That's how it works. That said, there is no guarantee that Joe Biden will be as tough on China as Donald Trump said he was. It could be mere political compulsion, given the kind of narrative that Trump had built in the last four years. Like I said, Biden is a seasoned politician. He is likely to seek more avenues of cooperation than actively stoke more conflicts with China, something that he suggested in his first diplomatic address as well. We'll confront China's economic abuses, counter its aggressive, coercive action to push back on China's attack on human rights, intellectual property, and global governance. But we are ready to work with Beijing when it's in America's interest to do so. We are ready to work with Beijing when it's in America's interest to do so. What do we make of this? That Joe Biden won't deal with China like Donald Trump did. In his back pocket, he has a long-standing relationship with Xi Jinping. In a recent interview, Biden also noted that he had spent more time with Xi than most world leaders. He said, and I'm quoting, I had 24 to 25 hours of private meetings with him when I was vice president. Travel 17,000 miles with him. I know him pretty well. All I'm trying to say is that India's relationship with America hinges strongly on how Joe Biden deals with China. Then we come to Russia. What about it? CATSA, C-A-A-T-S-A, the Countering America's Adversaries Through Sanctions Act. That's what it's called, CATSA. It's basically a law. It's a law aimed at pushing back Russian influence. Now, under this law, the United States has sanctioned Turkey for buying the S-400 missile defense system from Russia. Now, you would remember that India, too, has ordered the same S-400 systems from Russia. In fact, India is Russia's largest defense customer. The Trump administration limited itself to expressing displeasure over this relationship. Will Joe Biden do the same, or will he use Katsa against India, which is also a major potential defense buyer for the U.S. and a clear strategic partner? There's no guarantee which way he'll swing. Although he back. cannot really afford to irk New Delhi with sanctions at this point. The bottom line is this. The current geopolitical chessboard is very complex and India has strategically positioned itself in this game. The Biden administration will have to find a way to work with India. The odd statements to appease Biden's domestic vote bank notwithstanding. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.